my dear students today we are discussing about uh, bone marrow examination so what is the bone marrow and the next one what is the composition of the bone marrow and the next one what is the importance and how to collect the bone marrow from the human body so the next one what is the importance also uh, uh, now we discuss about the introduction about the um, uh, bone marrow so bone marrow it is a soft organic it is a first of all location so where it is located bone marrow the bone marrow it is located in our bones in our bones and the next one inside of the bone and the next one it is a look like a it is look like a soft and organ it is a look like a soft organic and it is a sponge like material is a sponge like material and the next one uh, it is containing them it is uh, presented in the especially bones which bones it is um, medullary cavities medullary cavities and some long bones some harvest air canals avarician canals and with the space between the uh, bones space between the bones so they, uh, this is the location and uh, location and uh, about the uh, bone marrow and what is the um, composition what is the composition of the bone marrow so it is a composed the red and yellow marrow it is a composed the uh, it composed the red and yellow marrow red and yellow marrow so it is composed the red and uh, yellow red marrow and yellow marrow so in here uh, uh, red and yellow marrow so the red marrow involved in them uh, the red marrow it is um, uh, it is it containing the um, uh, it containing the blood cells blood cells and the blood cells like rbc wbc platelets the rbc wbc uh, platelets so the uh, especially the only the rusty red marrow produces the cells the rusty marrow marrow rusty red marrow produces the this particular cells and what about the yellow marrow the yellow marrow it formed to uh, form of the connective tissues connective tissues and the next one no connective tissue and fat cells connective tissues fat cells and uh, which are inactive cells that one is the uh, formed by the uh, yellow marrow and the next one uh, the next one the uh, the part, the next one the smear of the bone marrow bone marrow smear the bone marrow smear of sample smear of the sample evaluated evaluated smear means take a glass light and add the some place the one drop of the bone marrow here then after pass through the flame so pass through the flame after that form the smear after that form the smear so that is the smear the smear is uh, examine the bone marrow smear examine the bone marrow smear and ma which examination so morphologically morphological examination of the bone marrow smear examination of the bone marrow smear so we are determining the erythropoiesis erythropoiesis and the next one cellularity erythropoiesis cellularity and the next one differential cell count cell count cell count means rbc wbc platelets and etc etc cell counts with done with the bone marrow examination and the next one uh, the next one how to collect the bone marrow 
collection. How to collect the bone marrow? So the bone marrow it is obtained by using of them. It is obtained obtained by using of using of three types of needles. Using of three types of needles from the uh, from our body. So what are there? One is the salas needle. Salas needle. And the second one is the clima needle. Second one is the clima needle. And the next one, third one is the jump sheets needle. Jump sheets needle. So in here, you now in here, best one it is the uh, clima's needle. Clima's needle is a uh, better than other. Clima's needle it is a better than other. And how much of sample is collected? How much of sample? Zero point two ml of sample not increases the zero point two ml of sample uh, collected from the our bone at one time. At one time, one time only we are collected the zero point two ml of sample only. So by the aspiration of the bone marrow with the using of the clima needle or jump sheet needle or uh, salas needle. In here, jump sheet needle, uh, kilas needle, clima needle is the better than the better than the uh, jump sheet and the salas needle. So this is about the uh, this is about the how to collection of the sample. So the next one it is um, the next one in adults and as well as in childrens. So how to uh, we, from uh, how to collect the sample from in our which body parts from which body part. So collected by with the using of this type of needles from which body part from which locations. So in first of all we will discuss about the in adults. So in adults. So uh, sternal aspiration number one is the sternal part. Sternal aspiration and number two is the anterior ilic crest. Anterior ilic crest and the other one is the <coughs> vertebral spinous process. Process. And fourth one is um posterior superior ilic spine. Posterior ilic spine from the adults. And what about the in the children's? What about the in children's? So in first one is a tibia. Tibia. And the next one. <clears throat> Uh, tibia, medullary tibia, or uh, <coughs> the next one is a posterior ilicrist. So, the, from the, uh, these two are the uh, <coughs> body parts is a collected the bone marrow from the these two body parts in children these four parts in the uh, these four parts in the adults and the next one what is the uses usage of the bone marrow so the bone marrow it is the involved in the uh, helps in the identification of the helps in identification of the identification of the tumors Identification of the tumors and the next one it is the identification and the classification of the different stages of the neoplasis identification and the classification of different stages of different stages of neoplasia uh, neoplasias and the next one it is involved in the uh, evolution of the aids evolution of the aids and the next one it is the identification of the identification of the infections diseases and identification of the causing agent diseases causing agents and the next one it is involved in the determination of Determination of carcinoma, carcinoma, 
cancer carcinoma cancer and granulomas and etc etc and the next one it is uh, involved in the uh, determination of the uh, de determination of the leukemia leukemia and the next one it is involved in the any uh, in our body total different types of cells are increases or decreases is determined what happened in the body so in for example eosinophils increases what happened in the body decreases what happened in the body eosinophils eosinophils and lymphocytes eosinophils lymphocytes and plasma cells plasma cells and the next one granulocyte granulocytes and uh, the next one uh, the, uh, granulocytes these type of cells are increases increases what happened in the body these are all are the determined by the with the using of the with the using of the uh, with the using of now uh, hemo uh, with the using of the bone marrow and decreases what happened in the body what decreases what happened in the body decreases what happened in the body means simply the each and every blood cell increases what happened in the body which type of diseases occurs that one is a determined by the bone marrow in case of each and every blood cell each and every part of the blood it is a decreases what happened in the body it leads to the which type of diseases that one is also determined by the with the using of uh with the using of the bone marrow so this is the importance of the uh this is the importance of the bone marrow so the bone marrow with the using of the bone marrow we done the biopsy test also biopsy test what is the biopsy test collect the sample from the living organism he is known as the biopsy so in here biopsy means in our body or oh, in our body which type of uh, diseases is occur in our body uh, identified in the living organism so with the collection of the blood sample or with the collection of the body parts with the collection of the bone marrow it is a determination of the uh, one type of disease is known as the biopsy the, that biopsy test also done with the done by the particular uh, bone marrow this is the importance of the bone marrow if you have any doubts from this topic tomorrow we will discuss thank you